This video is just a little pre-introduction to the next set of tutorial videos which start to talk about working with audio in Max. Um, the videos you're about to see were done about three years ago using version 4 of Max and things have changed a lot in version 5 and I just wanted to clarify any, any confusions which might, um, which might arise. As you can see this is what the final patch uh, looked like in Max 4 and that's what it looks like in Max 5. The nice thing is that it's a lot of uh, backward compatibility here so this is the exact patch from three years ago which I've just opened up and it still works. So that's all quite nice. Um, so things which have changed, the name of the program, in the old video I'm calling it Max MSP and I'm now calling it Max 5. Um, on the Cycling74 website they do seem to now call it Max or Max 5, although as you can see the name of the application still seems to be um, Max MSP. As you'll have seen in the earlier introductory videos, the way of choosing an object looks rather different now. If I double click here, except that's not working, let's try it like that. And that's still not working, that's because my patch is locked, stupid mistake. Um, the way of choosing objects looks a little bit different now, um, but you can still find the same objects that I use in the video. If you look here under audio, there's the Easy DAC and the Easy ADC, and then somewhere here is the uh, graphical switch which I use in the video as well. So it's just a slightly different way of um, selecting the selecting objects there. Um, the appearance of Max 5, as you'll see, is, is quite radically different from Max 4. Um, and in fact, I think really, uh, in a lot of ways, uh, much better. Especially the difference between objects and messages and number boxes is visually very much clearer. If you look in Max 4, that's a message and that's an object and that's a number box. And they do look really rather confusingly similar on the screen. Whereas in Max 5, it's very clear. That's a message. That's a message. That's, these are number boxes, those are messages, and these are objects. So that's all a great improvement. Also, the audio cables look much better than they used to. Those are the audio cables in Max 5, and these are the ordinary cables. Um, it's worth mentioning that the individual preload messages, which I created along here, or along here in the old version of the video, um, that's I only did that for the sake of the tutorial. It's okay if you've only got eight files to launch, but if you had hundreds of files to launch, the thing to do probably would be to have a look at the um, help file for an object called drop file, um, which lets you drag and drop audio files onto it. That would be a quicker way probably of loading audio files than actually using these explicit preload messages. And the final thing, which is a bit of a difference, this tempo object here has perhaps become a little bit semi-obsolete. If I was work writing the patch now, they've got a whole new way of dealing with uh, beat-based music in Max MSP, which uses this thing here, which uses a transport bar, basically. Um, and if I was writing the patch now, I would probably have used that instead. But apart from that, uh, everything that's in these Max 4 version videos should still work pretty much the same way if you follow them through uh, in Max 5. 